Well, now is the time if you want to get in shape and get on the road to being healthy. And Dan Vuzmirovich from Let's Go Fitness is back. And last week we talked about simple exercises that you can do at home or at the gym. This week we're talking about what to eat to stay on track. Yeah, it's so important to put uh, whatever we're putting in our bodies. We can do, mm -hmm. you, know, you understand that we can't out-exercise a poor <laughs> diet. And mm -hmm. we've heard that probably a lot of times. So the reality is we need to really get in line what, our, what we're putting in our bodies and not just the quantity, but the quality of the foods that we're putting in our bodies. Right, and I'm sure a lot of people, you know, they're going through the grocery store, they see the packaging that says, you know, low fat or fat free and think, oh, that's okay. I mm -hmm. can just have that and, you know, indulge a little. And well, in the diet side of that. So what, what tends to happen and, and, and we kind of understand is, is you look at things like Diet Coke is a good example mm -hmm. of this. Now many people, um, and former recovering Diet Coke addict right here, just got to say, um, mm -hmm. was one of those. And, and I knew that it wasn't the best for me, mm -hmm. but then I realized what, particularly what aspartame is, a, mm -hmm. a, a mm -hmm. sugar substitute that's going into our bodies. And really what it's doing is it's messing with my body's chemistry. Right. And so my hormones ultimately are fighting against my body's uh, ability mm -hmm. to process fat and to get, it, uh, to get it out of our systems. And so mm -hmm. what we need to do is be looking towards and moving towards on a spectrum towards clean eating mm -hmm. versus processed foods. And so part of that uh, journey for, I think, people is that we can understand it as a spectrum. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people kind of think, oh, I'm eating t t t uh, pizza rolls and frozen pizzas and, mm -hmm. you know, egg rolls. That's like I'm there. And then the next day I'm going to suddenly be eating quinoa and salmon. <laughs> um, it's probably not right, going to happen. Right. So it's really a process as we move along mm -hmm. the spectrum towards clean eating and getting away from those foods that are boxed mm -hmm. and canned and frozen so much and really entering more into the fresh vegetables, right. fresh meats that you know maybe are refrigerated that we can use a little bit quicker and then good healthy uh, carbs that we can talk a little bit about. Right, mostly things right from the produce section or like you said, nothing in the boxes. So now you were saying some people may, you know, overindulge on some days and then just only have, you know, skinless chicken breast and salmon and vegetables. How do you successfully do the cheat meal without going over? Yeah, and I think that's part of the pattern of it. If we mm -hmm. can kind of pattern our week after a five smaller meal process. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting a good breakfast in with a good balance of proteins, good com complex carbs and mm -hmm. some healthy fats, and then a morning snack somewhere in the mid-morning. So the goal is to eat about every two and a half to three hours. So mid-morning and then noon, mid-afternoon snack, and then mm -hmm. finally in the evening. The problem is most people will eat a very light breakfast or maybe no breakfast, they'll skip mm -hmm. it, no snack, a lunch that's then very, they'll go healthy. They'll mm -hmm. go, oh, okay, I'm just gonna eat my salad and my, and my, and my salmon or my chicken. Right. And then evening, they're starving. So mm -hmm. they gorge out for that last meal of the day. And that's when they really pack on the pounds. Right. So. And now when you're loading up on your plate and trying to go along um, with this pattern that you're talking about, mm -hmm. what is it that we wanna focus on the plate that's mm -hmm. the most important to eat that won't get you off track? Well, I think it's important to be able to, so there's the, the concept of filling your body mm -hmm. or really fueling your body. Mm -hmm. And so if we're just filling our bodies, there's a lot of stuff out there that we can fill with. You can fill right. it with chips, you can fill it with pretzel, whatever you want, and then it'll fill you, fill your body and you mm -hmm. will feel full momentarily, but it ultimately won't fuel you for your day. So maybe mm -hmm. some of us are struggling with things like energy level right. throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And they're wondering like, why do I feel so sluggish towards that mm -hmm. mid afternoon kind of that crash or snicker, uh, people want to go for like Snickers really oh, satisfies. Oh yeah, of course. Hate to inform you, Snickers really doesn't satisfy. <laughs> okay, it's one of those things where you're gonna carb mm -hmm. crash big time. Right. And what we need to be doing is making sure you're getting good, uh, good so sources of protein mm -hmm. that your body's gonna process longer and then complex carbs versus simple carbs. And so those mm -hmm. are your darker things like your brown rice. Mm -hmm. Quinoa is one that people are, it's newer for a lot of folks. People are like, I don't even know what that means. Is that in my same language? Uh -huh. Okay, but it's really a complex good carb that also has some protein in it as well as things like uh, sweet potatoes versus mm -hmm. regular potatoes so avoid the white rice avoid the white potatoes mm -hmm. avoid the white breads and then you're getting uh, get those towards the brown side of those mm -hmm. worlds uh, you're in great shape great well thank you so much and Dan will be back next week what are we talking about next week? next week we'll be hitting a little bit about the, uh, the kind of the mentality uh, mm -hmm. behind our overall approach to health and fitness and just to uh, make sure that you would get a good clean recipe we get three specific recipes on let's go fitnesscom fox 
three, and that's week three of what we're mm -hmm. doing. So it's letsgo-fitness.com box three, and that'll be a giveaway of three mm -hmm. clean eating recipes that you can use at home, simple, and help you stay on track with your food. All right, thank you so much, Jan.